and welcome to Crafty Club. Today I will be showing you how to decorate a clear phone case or any phone case of your choice with just a hot glue gun. And for this you're going to need a clean phone case. So I just used Windex to clean it off because it was a little dirty. Um, so you're going to need, you can do whatever color but I'm going to do clear because I feel like it'll work best with the glue gun. Um, you're going to need a hot glue gun and then the glue sticks that go into it. So what you're basically just going to do is do any design you want, hearts, flowers, you could do a scene, anything you want, and then so you'll just glue it all on, wait for it to dry, and then choose if you want to spray paint it, if you have spray paint, first off, and then spray paint it if you would like to, but I think I'll just leave it clear. So I was originally going to do a flower design, but that didn't really work out. It was too complicated, and it ended up looking like a lot of blobs. So I jumped ship and peeled it all off and went to a polka dot design, which was so much easier and I wish that I just did that in the beginning. So I made a list of do's and don'ts. By all means, you don't have to listen to these at all. If you feel confident in your glue gun skills, um, go ahead and do it, whatever you want. But I just wanted to give you some do's and don'ts that I think are pretty good and will help hopefully help you out. So for do, you really want to stick with a simple design that you know that you can do easily. So I thought that flowers wouldn't be very hard, but just remember that you are using a utensil, if you will, that has a larger tip. So just keep that in mind as you're picking your uh, design. So be sure that you don't try to pick an intricate um, or complex pattern and as I said earlier remember that you are using a large writing utensil so now I'm just going to run through my do's and don'ts so we have on the easier side which I highly recommend which I did polka dots stripes zigzag you can do checkered where you just run horizontal lines and vertical lines um, you can do something big in the middle. It could be a big heart, it could be a big sun, a big flower, whatever you want. And just remember to keep it simple. And now for some things that I don't recommend doing. So a scene, like if you wanna do a beach scene with palm trees or whatever, or woods or stuff, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, a logo, maybe you wanna do a sports logo. Chances are if you wanna write something out, it's not really going to work. Flowers, as you probably know, I jump ship. So I wouldn't recommend doing flowers for me. It just ended up looking like a lot of blobs. Um, an animal. I mean, I have trouble drawing a dog with a pencil, so I don't think I'll be able to do it with a glue gun. Um, a mandala. So if you don't know what that is, it's kind of a other, you can do it um, as a circle or a semicircle, it's where you have different patterns going out. I would not recommend doing that at all. Um, and food. I mean, you can try it, but I don't think drawing a hamburger or french fries or anything else would really work. So those are just my do's and don'ts. Feel free to do whatever you want. Just wanted to give some advice for people like me who aren't as good with the glue gun. So there are my do and don'ts and here's on to the rest of the video. So I just went with the simple polka dot. So I would really think it out before you start to do it because I tried to do flowers and it was just too complicated to do with a big thick tip on the glue gun. So I tried to get it off and then it scratched a little bit. So just beware of that. You can't really see it, but it's all scratched up a little bit on the bottom. So just think about that. I feel the simpler, the easier time you're going to have doing it. And it, that's how mine turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe down below and stay tuned for next Saturday's video. See you next time.